The Carte Blanche Making a Difference Trust has been helping to improve medical care for children in state hospitals for more than five years. Now the Eastern Cape was one area that needed more help than most, but initially the Department of Health there was reluctant to partner with the Trust. As Bongani tells us, that's a thing of the past, and as a result a section of Freya Hospital has been radically transformed. This is Akuna Dahala and her three-year-old daughter Yolanda who live on the outskirts of East London. On the 23rd of October, uh, Sheikh went down about around 10 o'clock to 11. Her daughter suffered severe third-degree burns. She's been in hospital for the past three weeks and is scheduled to have skin grafts in theatre today. which are booked, we may have one more emergency which may be added there. Okay. Yeah. Then this is a baby who had hot water and is going for a skin graft. These are the new state-of-the-art paediatric operating theatres at Freer Hospital in East London that were created by Carte Blanche's Making a Difference Trust. The campaign raised 14 million rand to bring hope and better medical care to children like Yolanda. It was a very different picture when Carte Blanche featured Frey Hospital three years ago in a story which highlighted the general decline of the hospital. This discarded ward housed a fully functional operating theatre, but due to lack of resources, it had become neglected and fell into disuse. Dr. Siva Pile, Superintendent General of Health in the province at the time, showed us around. No money, no surgeons. No other people, then it was just closed down. So this is the stage it got to? It got to the stage, and, and they wanted to clean it up. Now it's used by electrical people as a storeroom. When I came here, it was a bankrupt department, riddled with corruption, and uh, with a lot of ineffective managers, and a totally demoralized workforce. And with a situation like that, the needs of the patients were compromised. When Carte Blanche, through the Making a Difference Trust, approached the department to help upgrade their facilities, they were turned down. Under Dr. Pillay's tenure, however, things changed. Carte Blanche executive producer George Mazarakis and the patron of the Making a Difference Trust, Carolina Andropoulos, met with the hospital in East London to discuss their needs. Nestle generously donated 1.5 million rand to kickstart the project. When Carte Blanche visited Freer Hospital in 2011, this was a discarded theatre. It was being used as a storeroom, but had not been used as a fully functioning operating theatre for 20 years. Looking at it now, that's quite extraordinary. Dr. Itai Simango is the surgeon on duty today. His first operation of the day was a hernia repair on a six-month-old child. Everything went reasonably well and is being recovered by the anesthetists, as you can see. Thanks to the Making a Difference Trust, this is the first dedicated paediatric operating theatre in the Eastern Cape. Previously, children's operations were performed in the adult theatres in the province. Now they'll be able to get timeless assistance in these state-of-the-art facilities. Dr. Rolene Wagner is the CEO at Freer. At the moment, the waiting list is five months for a child to be operated on. So by having two dedicated theatres, we can now increase the operating time and we can start working down that waiting list. So it's going to make a huge difference. It can potentially save lives, but it can also improve the quality of the life of that child because you're intervening sooner rather than later. It's just before two o'clock and Yolanda is waiting to go into the theater. I'm very happy because my child will be operated today and life will be better for her. Yolanda has an excellent chance for a good recovery with a dedicated medical team and these first world facilities. Be taking or harvesting skin from her thighs and covering the burnt areas and both the donor area and the burnt area that you're grafting then heal quickly. The new theatres were recently handed over by the Making a Difference Trust to the Eastern Cape MEC for Health, Dr. Pumza Kyanti. The work done by this trust throughout the country, contributing to the improvement of public health service, is truly commendable. To receive this donation today on behalf of our province is such a great honour. A child excited to receive a gift from his or her parents, I am extremely grateful 
and excited at the anticipation of the changes that this new pediatric theater will bring to the Eastern Cape children. The transformation of this ward took nine months and it could only have happened with the generous support of over 40 sponsors. They state of the art machines, we could not ask for anything more. Bram van der Hoofen was the architect. This is over, uh, over and above the allowance in the private sector. I don't think the private sector goes to the extent that this, this design goes to and the, the amount of equipment. You, would, you wouldn't find a lot of facilities uh, with this amenities in, in private sector. Welcome everybody to this new pediatric operating theatre. The sponsors and delegates were taken on a tour of these impressive facilities. Not only are they two operating theatres, but an admission ward, a recovery ward and utility rooms. The digital laparoscopic operating theatre has all the bells and whistles any surgeon would hope for. Dr. Simango explains keyhole surgery. And you can see on our monitors, oh. um, this allows us to reduce say abdominal surgery from a huge cut across your belly into a few tiny cuts, probably each not more than a centimeter and a half. The second theater is the general surgical theater for less complicated cases. This is a video laryngoscope. It uses video technology. It's a little video camera at the end here and that actually can go around corners and enable us to visualize something that we normally wouldn't be able to see. The facility has an invaluable tool, a digital clinical kiosk which can access all medical records of the patient for the doctors immediately. Quick access to everything without having to make a phone call. It's wonderful. It makes it so much simpler. Take video clips. We can video conference when we want to, and people who are not in theater with us can watch us from an adjoining room, for example. All this we were not previously able to do at our old theaters. Professor Millen Chitness is the head of the pediatric surgical team. It is really impressive. It is not only of a national standard, it is of international standard, because uh, most of my colleagues, me included, we have worked overseas and the technology which we are able to use now, the latest technology which is available anywhere in the world. But all of this was made possible by sponsors with a vision. So something like this for us where infants and young children are going to get at least a second or even a third chance at life um, resonated with us so much so that we felt that we wanted to be um, one of the initial partners to partner with uh, Cut Blanche Make a Different Trust. I'm uplifting to see what can be done when different parties in the country work together. Children are our future and we need to look after them as best we can. For so many children, there's just such a um, disconnect between um, access to health care and the availability to have a meaningful start to life. So for us, this is just a beautiful fit with what we believe in. It's such an honour to be part of such a wonderful campaign that's making such a huge difference in the health sector. Yolanda has just finished surgery and the doctors are optimistic about her road to recovery. Hello, Pico. How are you? And I'm hoping that the child will be all right. Mothers who've been on the waiting list for the past five months are unanimous in their appreciation of the fact that their children are in safe hands and have access to the care they deserve. So, Ubu Kobela and Duka Base Company was not a good thing about them. I think I'm about Kobeke, Kebab, and the days should keep up the good work. You never know what that child is going to become one day. You know, we don't know what potential is sitting there. It could be the next Madiba. And so when you save that child's life, you give them an opportunity to become a human being who fulfills their promise. And thanks, Bangani, for that uplifting report. The Trust would welcome any contributions from viewers or corporate donors. You can get details on our website, and there'll be links on our Facebook page.